Hello everyone, welcome to CAT Gadgets. So in this video, we are going to perform a solid modeling, which is in CATI Access Book. To start with it, as I said in the early videos, click on File, New, and go to Part. Select any one of the plane as you wish, and click on Sketch option. So to start with this diagram, first draw the front view of it. And by using profile command, you can easily draw any of the sketch. Mention the dimensions as per the CAT access book. The whole length of the line is given as uh, 44 mm. We just split it into two halves. Now the vertical line has a dimension of 38 mm, so you're going to draw it. Similarly, in other side, the dimension is given as 38 mm. The next is that, to draw a curve, select on arc option, which is in the circle profile. And the radius of the arc is given as 22 mm, and therefore the diameter will be 44. The purple color indicates that the sketch is over constrained. When the sketch is overly constrained, uh, you cannot pad or pocket the sketch. The padding length is given as uh, 48 mm. The front view of the solid model has been obtained. And next, draw the side view. To draw a side view, select the perpendicular axis of the front plane and then click on Sketch Options. And by selecting the perpendicular plane, the sketch we draw will be inside of the front view. And the vertical length is given as 54 mm. And the bottom line is given as 34 mm. So let's make a sketch of the required dimensions. And the distance between the vertical line and the surface is given as 7 mm. So let's mark that too. It's given as 7 mm. And the upper length is given as 34 mm in the CATI access book. And next, the inner line is given as uh, 20 mm length. So when the whole length is 34 mm and the inner length is 20 mm, we must split into two halves on each sides. So we get 7 mm on each side. So 
So this vertical line has a length of 6 mm. And this line is given as uh, 20 mm in length. As, as it is overly constrained, delete one of the constraints to get perfect constraint in sketch model. And we got a perpendicular axis there. So, as I said earlier, all the dimensions will not be given. We must calculate from the required dimensions. So, the side view has been obtained now. And next, to pocket a hole on side and front views. The circle length is given as 20 mm as dia. And from the center to the bottom, the length is given as 38 mm. So mention it clearly to get the perfect solid model. And the circle must be in center. So as the total length is 35 mm, from the center to the one side of the sketch, we have given 17 mm, so that the circle will be in center. So the up to next option is that, to pocket from one surface to the opposite surface. So by clicking OK, the mass will be removed on both the sides next to pocket a hole on top of the surface and the distance between the two centers of the hole is given as 48 mm so we're drawing a sketch check it properly and give a dimension as 48 mm from the centers of both the circles The distance between these two centers are given as 48 mm. And the dia of this circle is given as 8. Click on pocket option to perform the operation. The final step is that to pocket a hole on a front view. So click the surface in which you want to remove the mass and click on sketch option. draw a circle the dimension is given as 30 mm the dia of the circle is given as 30 mm and 
And the final step to obtain a solid model is that to pocket the bottom by, do by doing the required dimensions. The length of this line is given as 32 mm. So we just split into two. That is 16 and 16. To get a line from the center. And this vertical length has a length of 15 mm. Next, draw a horizontal line intersecting these two vertical lines. So click on pocket and do the operations as before. And that's all. The required solid model has been obtained. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe Cat Gadgets and follow us on Instagram too. Thank you.